Nope, countdown is gone, but I'm not quite even there yet. What's uh, what's going on? Let's see if I can make that uh, happen, maybe? Like like this? Is that how it works? Yes, it is, isn't it? Yeah, and then I'm still not on. This, 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 this is what was supposed to happen. And I was going to make it so that we actually, you know, listen to the music while we do that. Loud and clear, that's exciting. Mr. Art, how's it going? Camilla, long time no see. Wonderful to see you. Very, very cool. Miss Julia is here. Mr. Dragonade is here. How's it going, my man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Greetings to your mom as well. She's watching, which is always appreciated. Hello, mom, in case you are. A delayed hello mom if you're watching later that's also totally fine and i think that's everyone we have um, uh, nancy nancy heartburn coffee yum indeed I'm, I'm enjoying it right now it tastes really nice i'm treating myself to a rare caffeinated coffee leo as well wave waving back waving back at you buddy i'm treating myself to a rare caffeinated coffee usually i have the decaf these days and i'm a little bit early because i'm uh, i'm sort of today is the kind of a clear liquid day for me because i'm preparing myself for a colonoscopy tomorrow just in case you didn't get that yesterday uh, this is why i'm a little bit early because i've got to take about 24 really large tablets like the size of my fist 24 of them and that will then flush me out but that of course means frequent trips to the bathroom and that happens sort of just around my usual streaming time if i adhere to their schedule so i thought i'll make it a little bit early and then you know do all the tablets later and hang out while you know while we still can so to say one of those things top of the morning top of the evening to you wherever you are whatever you're doing you're always welcome to just you know hang and chill and lurk in the background or actively participate i'm happy either way so yesterday we started playing this exciting game called Viewfinder and it is this game in which we have all kinds of 2D things that we position in the 3D world and all of a sudden they turn into 3D objects and we can even interact with them. So that's kind of the cool thing about the game. So it's, <laughs> yes, 24 tablets. So it's, uh, it's kind of cool. And they're large too. Uh, it used to be... A liquid that I used to drink was able to drink. I think that was uh, from what I remember. Do you know? Did we did we do the optional challenge here yesterday? I don't even remember. That is up here, wasn't it? Nice little courtyard. Nice particle effects. Cute. Very cute. Look, people have got dinner here already. That's we should we should sit down and have some. Help yourself. <laughs> well, from what we gather, this is all part of a simulation, by the way, because as in pretty much 99% of every gaming plot these days, we're playing in the future where the world has gone to pots and we're in some kind of simulation that will sort of rectify it if we play our cards right or something. This was the optional challenge and we've done it, didn't we? Yeah, we've done it. But now we're up to go into a different level, I think, that might introduce new mechanics. Let's go do this thing. Hub completed. Hub completed. Uh, levels zero to twenty-one. Oh my goodness! Chilong. We're Let's go. Towards the workspace of a masterful engineer. We also have a cat. Chilong, much like the others, settled in quickly here. The batteries, the teleporters—that's all thanks to his handiwork. Though he wouldn't accept the compliment directly. Sweet. I'm sure you'll find something useful here. One step closer to solving an impossible question. Right? Maybe uh, I should turn all my past streams into a post podcast for you to listen to. If it's that pleasing. And they're all still available. So this is one thing that Twitch doesn't have, that they don't really let us keep archives and w unless we make an effort. On YouTube, they all stay available. So if you ever wanted to listen to something from three or four years ago, you can totally do that. They're all organized by playlists in years, usually. 
I split them up into 3D streams or working sessions as I call them and then game streams so you can pick and choose the, the whole playlist tab is full 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 of past streams workshop hey so I haven't seen this part of the game it's gonna be exciting <laughs> and actually learn stuff how exciting that is always a bonus that is always a bonus. Yes, Joseph mentioned that he would like me to do more Unreal Engine 4 streaming. <laughs> that is uh, that could could happen. It's a little challenge. Not everyone has hardware that supports Unreal Engine 5, so I totally agree with him there. Yeah, these days I'm usually so busy that I just don't have a lot of time for streaming, which is a problem. But I do make an effort if and when I can. Like, you know, like today. Artificial intelligence, chins, 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 chins. So we've seen these two dynamics in this game yesterday. I wonder if they're introducing a third one. Well, it's just a hub world. So we pick one of these teleporters and go to the actual puzzle level. And then we get returned here to this hub world. And then we play the next level from there. That's kind of how this works. Yeah, really, really good mechanic. Also, super nice, chill atmosphere. I, I, I love it. I just, I just like being in this world, you know. <laughs> they, they never tell me. <laughs> Teleported also locked. Mm, ooh, five kilograms. All right. They, they do tell me. They, they have their ways. They just, not, they, they don't do it in words so, so much. <laughs> Ooh. Also, do you know, there's something else I wanted to let you know. Thank you for subscribing, by the way, Joel Schmo. Joel L. Schmo, good name that. Thank you for being here. Appreciate that, buddy. If you're here in the stream, hello and welcome. If not, just enjoy the channel. Always good to see new blood arrive. Something I wanted to give a heartfelt thank you for yesterday's super chat donations they amounted to a whopping 17.99 which is actually the price of this game so basically i got i got the money for the game back by just by super chat donations from yesterday so thank you so much guys that was that was great so i can you know i bought something that i thought was was fantastic and uh, got to share it and you guys pay me back for it that is just so cool i really appreciate that it's when you see the exact number black and white that's just that's just so cool <laughs> It is tomorrow, yes, Julia and I, tomorrow is our 20th wedding anniversary. On which day, of course, I'm doing a colonoscopy because I thought that's just the way you, that's just the way we roll. These, all these things are locked. What's going down? Maybe we really have to go back down here. Have another look downstairs. Yes, it is tomorrow and we're going to have a fantastic, fantastic day, I can tell you. Filter select. Can we do anything with this? No, I don't think we've seen this machine before. <laughs> I'm sure it will. I'm in very good hands. And if you didn't know this, ah, there we go. This is our this is our teleporter to the next level. If you didn't know this, colonoscopies, they're not just a screening. They're also an active prevention of cancer. So colon cancer in 99% of all cases, if I, as far as I uh, understand it, maybe even in 100% of the cases, starts because of a polyp that grows into your colon. So if this was your, your colon, there's always, the colon cancer always starts with one of these polyps growing in. And the colonoscopy can tell you if you have them. And while the, uh, while the doctor is there, he'll just go snip them off and the cancer then doesn't grow any further. So even if you grow, and that's not representative of, of the human population, if you grow a polyp once every two years and it takes another two to three years for that polyp to grow into fully fledged cancer and into a tumor the moment that polyp is removed cancer is reset back to zero so that's why these are so uh, important and you can you, they not only do they save lives but it's also it's incredibly harmless compared to the crap you have to go through if it's not working out oh look at that collectibles mahjong tile seven of them exciting You, aside from the colonoscopy and waking up from the propofol <laughs> yeah probably just chilling out and having a large meal <laughs> that makes up for my, today's fast so to say that is that's my plan and here's you the cat hear that 
In my memories, I hear singing and laughing. I remember a celebration. Shall we go take a look? Sure, let's go take a look. We can pet the cat as well, which is just so, so cool. <laughs> Yes, the cat. It, he's, he's called Kate, and he's a virtual sort of gatekeeper of memories of this simulation. Ah, yes, 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 yes. We've seen this mechanic yesterday. Flick all the levers, and then each of these things brings about something that will combine red, green, and blue into a picture. How hard can it be, huh? Ah, yes. Third levers behind the gate. Uh, that's not so good, is it? Huh. <laughs> I'm doing one tomorrow, Camilla, and today I'm preparing myself for it with the clear liquid diet and 24 large pills that will flush my colon out. That is the... That is what I'm doing. That's why I'm mentioning it. That's why I'm streaming early and not at 5 p.m. Because those pills, they need to be taken on some kind of a regimen starting at 4 p.m. That's why I'm telling all this. That is the connection. And we don't have a picture that gets us over to here. Hmm. That is interesting. Thank you, thank you. I will let you know. I'm sure it goes well. I'm sure it's going to be nice. I wish I had done it a couple of years ago, but it was just, you know, my life just wasn't wasn't ready at that point. Ah, look at here, look at this. Interesting. So 2D elements. This is for those of you who haven't seen this yesterday, multiple times, 2D elements, right? And we just look at them in the correct angle. Sort of, if I can find it like this. And then... This is now turned into 3D geometry. Not that obvious in this example, but here, there we go. The shattered thing, and now I can go behind it, which I couldn't do before. Aha! <laughs> this is the clever bit about this game. And now if we line up, well, it looks like green, purple, and blue. Then we have that bridge that we didn't have before. Ha! Very cool. That is how you solve puzzles in this game. And now Cat is happy. Look at that. Placed myself a new bridge in here. Cat's all excited. Well done. It's a Thanks, shame Kat. things cool. crumble over time. Only there's always someone here to fix it. First Si Leung, now you. Thank you. Si <laughs> Leung. Hmm. Cat can teleport. I like it. I like it. Yes, yeah, very chill. This. I had a feeling that the first level was all about sort of retro objects, and then the second level was about music. I wonder what this third level is all about. A uh, cake, perhaps. <laughs> a tagine, I suppose. And also open presents. Quantum teleportation cat, that's right. Very nice. Ah, yes, a teleporter. With one battery already available. Two, I suppose, we need to, we need to find. <laughs> teleporter needs to be powered. Well... Isn't it incredible? Rewinding to get the perfect shot. Too much of that cannot be good for my health. Hi, Carl Van Mungayon. It's your birthday. Hi. No grumpy. Only eating and drinking and dancing. Feasting, huh? Dancing. <laughs> I even bought my guitar to play for you. That's a high honor, you know. All right, all right. Happy birthday to me. That's more like it. <laughs> no, take a bow. Ah. So this is kind of cool. This is this is this, right? And we have this staircase going down, and that is exactly this. But <laughs> why would we put that in the same place? 
it would just rebuild all that geometry but if you look closely next to the birthday cake the birthday cake's intact in the picture but not in the level and also we have a picture next to the birthday cake Ooh, to clean it up let, let's do that i'll be there i'll try to be very careful and try to put it in exactly the same spot if i can yeah it's close enough right nate i've been meaning to ask you almost almost yes that's ah xbox controller and doing it and that's that's gotta be that's gonna be enough come on so current reality picture put picture in place picture becomes reality oh mg birthday <laughs> that's wonderful A gathering of friends i love these little events if my system memory is correct Celia received quite a unique gift that day it's a, probably a polaroid camera i believe the developer called this effect that we're experiencing here the polaroid effect which is quite nice maybe we'll put that here no not not here maybe uh maybe here maybe here a camera with <laughs> limits all right and we can pick it up can we yes we <laughs> a camera portable and with instant film to boot how a exciting to here, and a powerful way to store data that is exciting how you use this i was I wondering if they're going to give us if i had thumbs a portable camera so all we need to do then is take a picture of the battery <laughs> fantastic and uh, let's, let's in fact let's do it again because we need two batteries don't we so let's go and do the uh you can swap between photos and the camera by using this perfect let's take another camera to uh, picture Kaplong. nice look at that and that we will put maybe here right pick up that battery from the picture <laughs> it doesn't matter that it's black and white we're, we're all good here <laughs> we'll do this again shall we put that picture here and boom pick up battery that'll certainly power this <laughs> thanks cat like it <laughs> But only with five pictures, so we've got to be a little bit careful unless we find film packs. Sebastian, what's happening? How you doing? Look at that. This is what this is what that camera poster did, and then all of a sudden we've got the we've got the cat as well. That's so cute. <laughs> so cool. You're just in time. We're in this new level, new hub world new mechanics i suppose we're gonna get a uh, free for all walking around camera which is great i'm doing great sebastian thank you so much for asking i was just saying just before you arrived uh, thanks to your super chat donations from yesterday they amounted to the exact amount of money that i paid for this game which is great so <laughs> thank you so much again it was uh, that was very nice Oh, is this uh, is this the next level? Could it be? Could it be? Could to the next level. All right. This time we're collecting mahjong tiles, by the way. So, <laughs> yes, indeed. Cheers, cheers to you too. <laughs> oh, I see. So we begin every level with the camera, and we have five pictures we can take. That is great. That reminds me of the portal gun in Portal, which I think in part was. It's certainly one part of the inspiration for this game. Ah, let's just sit down and enjoy the scenery, shall we? Blacktail or the Bookwalker? No, no, I don't. I haven't. <laughs> I have not. I have not. This camera physics thing that Mirren has proposed is going to make me nauseous. Gravity exists for a reason. Well, I suppose we need to find a way to turn ourselves upside down. Not so much. We just need to find a way to take a picture of this, right? Like so, I'm thinking. 
Haha, <laughs> and then because we're never gonna be able to walk on the ceiling here, we're just gonna go and turn this around, perhaps, right? And and uh, and, and walk that way, maybe. It wipes out the original geometry, but that's okay. We're we're all right. Ooh, and that's the blueprint for the camera. Interesting. <laughs> chat GPT for work no I don't but with it being part of Windows 11 if if you enable it no I'm not really into chat GPT I know Julia's been uh, using it actually Julia's been using it for work come to think of it oh look at that I'll make a mental note of that thank you Camilla I appreciate that I'm always on the lookout for for new and interesting games if they're up my street I'll definitely consider it I was looking at one that's called Uncanny Valley that is a sort of a pixel game and it's I think it's built as a survival horror game but it's also it's also fairly cute in what it does so I'm thinking of picking that up it's only you know 12 bucks or so I think 7.99 through humble so not not the world got sort of mixed reviews so there we go, now we can go back. But before I do, I was thinking maybe there's a mahjong tile I can pick up. Maybe there's something here that I've overlooked. Feeling a bit burnt, turned around, yeah. Don't we all? Maybe there's no mahjong tile. It's not often I find, Camilla, that there are games that that I'm thinking, oh, this this could be really good. So I always appreciate these tips because the sort of top-selling games is usually not my cup of tea, unless it's something like Horizon. So yeah, thank you, thank you for the tip. Ah, il telefono. Oh, we just—I keep forgetting I have a camera. I just go and take a picture of this and just put it to where we can reach it a little bit better like this thing here as well I suppose we reach that teleporter by just taking a picture of it and coming closer I like it huh What you're saying, Sebastian, is you you got so addicted that you don't want to do don't want to do it as it used to be done back in my day, huh? <laughs> yeah, I might even actually have it. I might have Blacktail as part of my humble subscription. That does sort of ring a bell. I'll look into it. Right, I can imagine for for reports. That does, that can come in handy. I know that um, people use it as a, to write the store descriptions for their 3D products. That is uh, where that's, where that's being used a lot by some vendors, not by everyone. Ah, is this something I wonder if this is something that that's sort of a clue of how to get to the phone booth here. And we're back. So yeah, rewind feature, very cool. Very cool. Oh, you can write code with it and stuff like that. It's, it's, just, it's just incredible. I need to have a bit of C code that sorts me some variables. So just type it into ChatGPT and it, it, it tells you. That is pretty exciting, I have to say. But there's all kinds of stuff that you can get these days that give it a 2D picture and it turns it into a 3D model. Crazy stuff. There's so much exciting stuff. 
Let me go and see if I can get to this teleport if I do this here. And then, if I do that... I can't remember. That did not work out. Maybe I need to... Or maybe I just need to do this. Does that get me there better? Yes. So I could go back, but I'd also like to have a look at that phone booth if I can. So let's say I put this here. And then, you know, that's where we can go. But the phone booth, there's got to be a way to... So if I just do this, will this work? And then if I just do that here... Oh, a line, so maybe that has something to do with it. Does this work? Yes, that'll work! It's just about that perspective, man. Yeah, I mean, it does give you code if it if it actually is executable it is another matter. <laughs> no way, really. How exciting. <laughs> that is so cool. OK, let's listen to the annoying narrator's Jesse's over voice. Hey. Another voicemail. <laughs> it's getting harder and harder to reach you. Yes. I hope isn't you're doing it? well. Yep. I've been doing my best to track your movements. Good. It's See been you. difficult though. Bye -bye. Possibly some sort of error on my part. Yeah, probably. I'm going See to later. reach out again soon. Try to answer <sighs> next time if you can. Okay. Bye bye. Despite this mess, I know you'll be fine. Bye, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, get back, Jesse. No luck finding many mahjong tiles, but then we have 24 levels in this world, so it's it's getting more complicated. It's getting more complicated. Hi, yeah, perfect. No mahjong tiles here, right? Just double checking. <laughs> it can be, yes. I totally agree. <laughs> yes, it's very difficult to reach me. I'm, I'm difficult. My reachability level is difficult. Ooh, tape and a spanner. Yeah, sorry, I took a little bit longer because I was looking for mahjong tiles. Hey, Jesse, I just thought I'd badger you with my voice again. No, I have nothing useful or interesting to say. I just need you to hear my voice now and then, and goodbye. Yes, Jesse, what's that all about? Hey, cat, how's it going? This is so cute, you could pet the cat. No matter if it's electronic or not, we don't mind. Ooh! I went ahead to search for the machine you're looking for. Most elusive indeed. Dustin! Is that the only reason you came here? No, bully. Do not feed. Pick up Dustin. I, do we need Dustin? That is hilarious. I, mean, I, wonder, I wonder what's in Dustin. Do not feed. Gotcha. Look at that. Is that more cake? Oh, no. This is um, sort of toast, maybe? <laughs> With butter and maple syrup, something like that. And the cassette carousel, I love it. Sharpie. Oh, let's pick Dustin up. Why do we need to do that? Oh, because we need to bring him up the stairs, maybe. I have a feeling we need to bring Dustin places so that he can clear things up for us, maybe. Maybe. Is this a good place to put Dustin? <laughs> Chucks Dustin away. Oh, Dustin. Dustin's dead. How do we turn Dustin around? I could make a... I could take a picture of Dustin and then we can have a... It looks like I've destroyed Dustin. 
Okay, fine. Good thing I've got a rewind button. <laughs> Let's not worry about Dustin. Shoes, sunglasses. Huh. Yes, Nate, don't break anything. <laughs> a family of Dustins. We can totally take pictures of Dustin. Let's try it out, see what happens. Dustin, meet Dustin. Yes, look at that. Now I've got black and white Dustin. <laughs> That's hilarious. Can you go down the stairs? I'd love to see what the mechanic looks like. I can take this Dustin and make sure you don't go all that way, maybe. Yes, perfect. Yep, down the stairs works. Just up the stairs probably doesn't. Oh, and then he gets stuck. Poor Dustin. Maybe this exciting message holds the key. Poor Dustin. Doomed <laughs> to bang into walls for all eternity. Yeah. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. Hours of entertainment packed into one lime green robot. Right. This is a reminder to patch a step climbing algorithm into his code. <laughs> After I get other work done. I don't see a teleporter. <laughs> but I'm glad we can make multiple Dustins. Yeah, teleporter. Oh, there! Ah! Oh, nearly didn't see that. Well, that should be fairly easy to reach, right? Because yesterday we had it that we can actually take a picture of the teleporter from behind. And then just put that up somewhere else. Oh, I see. As in, um, maybe like this. Yeah, like this. And then we just we just walk up on it like so. Yes, it's just this perspective thing is weird. <laughs> But it does work, doesn't it? So ha! <laughs> Crazy! Good that we've met Dustin. I wonder if there was an additional achievement if we just make five Dustins. Well, maybe next time. Ooh, pick a picture. This one. Oh no! <laughs> We're going to be turned into that sort of style. It's like Stardew Valley, isn't it? Crazy! Cat, how's it going? Stardew Valley picture. Hang on. Did did you nick my biscuit? Me? <laughs> Steal your biscuit? Oh, here what it is. What sort of accusation is that? You did. You, you? biscuit oh, stealer. Oh, all right. So what if I did? It was just sitting there going uneaten. It's not as if it could have gone cold. Oh, well, if you're going to kick up a fuss. Kate, can you please run shortbread.exe for our esteemed colleague here? <laughs> Biscuit thief. <laughs> Biscuit thief. Stardew Valley 1.6. Yeah, I definitely want to play it. I definitely want to play it. They haven't brought it out on PlayStation yet, the 1.6 update. But I definitely want to play it. I think if I have a little bit more time that we can do it as a chunk. Last one I did... The fir actually, the first Stardew Valley stream I did was 100 days in a row. That would be kind of cool to do that again. Do the 100 day marathon. <laughs> See, Leon was always fond of games. What? So let's see if I can do something like that. But yeah, I definitely want to have another look. And I think we'll begin with a brand new game, I'm thinking. That's a Mahjong piece, isn't it? Yes! Mahjong! <laughs> Do you think we can take a picture of this? And then go and put, put that here? 
Why didn't we... Oh, hang on a minute. Why didn't I take a picture of the Mahjong piece and then pick multiple up? Does that work? No, that doesn't work because once we've picked it up, that's we've picked it up. I get you. Whoops. <laughs> Popeye! Aye, 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 aye. This is bizarre. We now have Stardew Valley style in this as well. We've already had sketch style. We've had comic book style. Hand-drawn children's sort of drawing style. Now we have 2D. We had Tamagotchi. Now we have the 2D Stardew Valley type style. What's going on? I'm doing great. How did that saying go? How did that saying go? Up must be flipped. Ah, is that what it, what the old saying is all about? Let's uh, let's flip it up then. See what uh, what that does. D -d does that do something? I'm not sure. Hmm. Is there anything else we can do with this level? I mean, there's got to be. It's got to be something. I don't, I don't see the teleporter. But I do see this here, which sort of seems to be... Teleporter is there! Now, look at that! <laughs> look at that! Maybe that's what he meant. Yes. As in, yes. Now it makes it makes sense. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> that was crazy. Teleported behind here. Need to find two batteries. Gotcha. And as many Mahjong tiles as possible. So is this something where we may have to just cut a hole into the wall? Possibly. But we could just put a picture here and then walk in from there. So that's that's one option, I'm thinking. Oh, battery on a pedestal. I like it. And some transmission equipment. Good stuff. Everything keeps breaking. You think in a simulation everything will find a way to maintain itself, but no. It's fine. Keeps me busy. Some peace and quiet. As soon as we see the next cat, Nate, we're going to try that out. Because yesterday we did that and it did replace the cat entirely. But I didn't do it on half the cat. And the cat did get hurt, which is nice as well, so that's that's good. That's not actually as easy as I thought. Does this have something to do with platforming? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, no. Okay. I wonder if it does. If we just do it, put that sort of... Ah... Uh, Maybe here. Oh, the teleporter was destroyed. What was I thinking? Sorry, teleporter. I didn't know you were behind this. <laughs> That's hilarious. Did you see that? The battery being on an angle started falling down into the abyss. That is hilarious. So if I do that, the battery it's into a real object and has physics. That's, in that's insane. Uh, yeah, so if I do that, it'll be fine. So then if we, if we turn that into something useful, if we just do this, does it just fall down on our ground here? Yes, it does! <laughs> 
fantastic. So now all we need to do is take a picture of that battery. Pick ourselves a copy of that. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is too funny. Uh, copied battery. Check it out. <laughs> I love humor like that. Oh, this got this got mangled. <laughs> Hmm, so all we need to now do is find a way into here. By doing something to the to the wall, right? Did I accidentally take a picture of the of the teleporter over here? I just meant to take a picture of nothing, sort of, you know, like like this. Well, currently, we have two teleporters. I don't know if that is an advantage. It might be. So I could just do this, maybe, and then I just use this teleporter instead of the one that's hard to reach and all. Maybe I'll do that. Because I don't think it matters which teleporter we use. As long as we make it sort of functional. <laughs> yeah, we could take the black and white teleporter. Any Mahjong tiles I may have missed. I need to see, I need to know how this is done. I want to try this in Unreal Engine. <laughs> no way! Its username was Dustin! How exciting! That must be this, this robots thing. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, oh, this way. Dustin. Discord spam is getting crazy. Did you know what that a messed up coincidence? Have to spend yes. Years developing a method before they're often allowed to share their work. We did not know that, cat. Oh, that was this one. Okay. Can we can we use this? Interact. <gasps> Grayscale. Color shift, cold and warm. Oh, nice. Um, let's select this and uh, and 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 what happens? Which which level just got changed into purple? There's all kinds of crazy stuff going in on uh, going on in this game. That's the beauty of the simulation. What you can achieve in a year's time can be merely a blink here. Though that does make perfection tempting. See Sorry, cat, I didn't want to cut you off there. It sounded important. Congrats on a 20 quid win. Don't get used to it. Quid, by the way, is a British currency. <laughs> it's like bucks. In case you didn't know that. This game won several BAFTAs, by the way. BAFTA things, which is awesome. And it came out last year. But the first concept of this surfaced about five years ago. True story. How are we going to get out of here? We only have one picture left in our camera. We better make it count, huh? Take a picture of of nothing, perhaps. Is that good? Let's do let's do nothing with just a little, little leaf here. Oh, that is what that does. Sweet. 
now we can go behind the iron curtain so to say and i suppose that is the purple effect that i just got in there <laughs> black tail and rhyme thank you thank you for the reminder again and please make a note julia i think i may have i, I may have black tail it's is it nate i'm not sure if you were here uh for that earlier but is blacktail that sort of reminds me of a game that i'm with that we may already have on the humble subscription stop right there and shout your guesses uh fly up blacktail 20 quid says you can't guess what i made uh huh. <laughs> hasbala is that a game Oh, hello. But the problem, of course, is we no longer have a picture left in our camera. Camera's out of film. So even though this is where that teleporter is, we can no longer use our thing because we... Oh, do we have film here? Film packs? I'm working in Ali Wong's workspace today. I've exiled myself to the opposite end to keep the bickering to a minimum. It's quiet here, but a little sparse. These might be useful. Like other builds more. I can hear you. <laughs> Get back to work. Fine. I won't bother you anymore. Verbally, at least. Right. <laughs> I'm thinking since we're a little short on film and we might need more, why don't we take a picture of the film and then we go, ha ha ha, <laughs> that was an achievement. And then we go and uh, pick up that film and take another picture of the film. Well, since it's only one exposure at a time, that isn't, that isn't good. I think we need to do this, don't we? And then we... Yeah, that's also not great. I'd like to take a picture of the two films so that they would multiply, you know? But I can't! Cat, help me out here! <laughs> Do we now have two cats? Is that how that works? Hmm... This could... I wonder if you do this a lot does the game eventually hang with the, with the memory leak <laughs> because how many environments can we build before something seriously bad happens <laughs> how much time do we have we need we need to find a way to take a picture of two films don't we because this doesn't go, this doesn't get any, any better. So far, so good. Okay, we're picking up all the film. So now we can place this and we can also take another picture but it's the same effect isn't it it's so difficult to stream five hours taking pictures of pictures of pictures and see when it breaks so i suppose now we can finally take a picture of this and look at the vibrant colors. I mean, that looks so much better than the original teleporter, doesn't it? I think. Yeah, um, the... Uh... Ha! This is another fun thing. So how does this... this All of this stuff, I'm just thinking from a programmatic 
point of view. This doesn't load a new level. It just goes and transitions me to a different position technically in the same level. If you think about it, a game like Subnautica never loads another level. It's a single level game. It's a massive environment, but you don't ever load another level. If you think about another game where you start and then you end and then the level loads, that loads another level. That's always a, a very obvious transition. Even games like Myst, they load other levels while you're in the elevator. This is like one to two second a break and it's very cleverly disguised but that loads other levels whereas this game I don't think loads other levels I think this is all happening in the same level yes that is true that's called world streaming but that is that's still the same level that is that's true yes it, it unloads and offloads things in the background so when you when you go from one sort of biome into another you see these things sort of pop into place that is it loading the new textures and the new 3d objects but this game, I don't think it works that way. This is why it's so clever about this. Technically, this could be a very small level. So it could technically be a sphere here or something like a cylinder. And I'm looking at the outside of the cylinder here, which is in the background. But that could just be because the level could be really, really large. And there could just be another cylinder right next to it that I can't see. And I can teleport to it. So that is possible. Mirren's extra piping for the seventh trial. Hmm. I can hear you whining from all over the way. Ah. One photo we're allowed to take. That's not a lot, is it, Cat? <laughs> a sphere, probably. Yeah. Always against the camera. Could be cylinder. He often complained that it got in the way of his work. I was always confused by that. Araya used to tell me that breaking things was a part of learning. Could be either. Probably. Could, could be sphere. Could be cylinder. I don't think it's a cube, like you say. I don't think it is. We would see geometric distortions uh, when we do this. A cylinder could be because I see this, this very, you know, this, this round shape. So it could just be a lid. Could be a, a hollow one. Who knows? We need to... Okay, so we need to learn Unity and then track down the developer and have a chat with him. And say, please tell us how you did this. Ooh, Mahjong tile. And then we need to learn a way to do this in Unreal Engine. Just because... Man... I've seen demos where people recreated Portal in Unreal Engine. I see the battery. But I don't see... Oh, the teleporter's here. Duh. <laughs> I was going to say I don't see the teleporter. So, ha. Huh. Unless there's a film pack over there. Vibrant colors. Can we do something like this? Like that, yes, like that, right? That means we can pick up both batteries. <laughs> yes! I like it. And then we can pick a different color if we fancy. I, I do like this, so I have to say purple, that's, that's totally my color. All right, fine. You're winning me over. I told you it would spark ingenuity. Clearly, I have a knack for knowing the unknowable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mate. You're bloody brilliant. Want a medal? Ah, no thanks. Just hearing you say that is enough of a reward for me. Wait, actually, I do need your help with something. Yes. Let me show you. You're being cagey. Lead the way, <laughs> Professor. That is a good question, isn't it? Two TVs, one original, one's a clone. Which TV is the real one? Yes, <laughs> you should. <laughs> oh, YouTube's giving me a little bit of a warning here. Uh, it says the stream's current bitrate is lower than the recommended one. Oh, really? OBS, what are you doing? No, I'm streaming at 10 meg. YouTube reckons I'm not. Hmm, what's, uh, what's happening on the stream health front? Was there a little... Nope, it's saying it's okay. 
Oh, it's the shopping tag, tag products. What what happens when I can can I can I do that? YouTube's all got all kinds of stuff. Is there is there something called viewfinder? Can I tag that? You no, know, right? No, no, of course not. I can just tag random products now and and do what with it? I, I don't think that. YouTube shopping, I do not understand. It's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> Probably fine. Stream health is good, so that's all good. That's that's all. That's all we need. Both. This entire thing is a simulation, so there never was a real TV to begin with. Clever, Nate. Very clever. Good. Ignored. Fine. But yeah, this one here. If this TV says, "We all know you're the real one," and then I go to this here, and this also says, "You're the real one." Hey, that's great, mate. Battery. This is such a cool game. I, I feel like I want to play Super Liminal next, really. Like, when this happens, I don't think a new level has been loaded. We're, we're still in the same level. We're just at a different position of that level. <gasps> Look at that! It's a Rubik's Cube! Battery, check. Ooh, Philly bits. Check. Well, how do you define real? Indeed. That this is this is this whole discussion about when we're at a point where we will and it's going to be a couple of this years one. maybe, but it will happen. This one is quite complicated. We're going to find a way to have some computer think and behave exactly like a human being, and we're going to be able to reconstruct whatever the brain, the human brain, does in the cloud or on somebody's laptop. It will happen. No question about that. And then, of course, the question is, well, if it behaves exactly like a human, isn't it then human? Technically. And we'd have to all argue, well, technically, yes. <laughs> ah, there we go. That's that cat. It just rematerializes. You're saying it's more like closer to in six months? Oh, I see the problem no, because we need the second battery and we ain't got it no. Ay, caramba, mamacita, what are we gonna do? I was too hasty with using up my single picture. Okay, maybe not in a couple of years. Maybe, maybe it's gonna be more like five years. But I have a feeling it's probably gonna be in in your and my lifetime, don't you think? Well, I can't take a picture of... Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know. I'll go back to this when I still have one picture left. I take my battery, put it in front of this, maybe? Is that what we do? Then we take a picture of both the battery and the teleporter. Like so, right? And now we have both of the battery that we need and the e yeah, but the ah. Uh. Well, and this battery that's just gonna fall to the ground now, isn't it? Like so. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to cut the the cat off half. See what happens. Hey, cutting the cat off half just makes the cat rematerialize. <laughs> Oh, you mean the concept? Oh, okay, I see, I see. Right, you think people are going to force it? I mean, true sentience. The, the topic of so many science fiction novels. True sentient, true sentient program that doesn't just appear to be sentient, but that actually is sentient. Well, how do you prove it? I mean, they're gonna... It's gonna be able to pass all the Turing tests 
in the world with flying colors, of course. But no, you're right. We're back at the hub world. It's true. I mean, that's that goes back to this point of how do we, how do we sort of um, how do we um, how do we tell if something's sentient or not just by it passing the Turing test? That's that's not enough. But then also, doesn't that mean that no matter what artificial life form or artificial thinking thing somebody's going to make, it's always going to be well, but that's artificial. That's not biological. I suppose unless you've been physically born from the womb of a woman, <laughs> you know, and you're a biological being. That's got to be that's got to be that argument, isn't it? And then there's always the split in well, but if it if it behaves exactly the same as a biological entity, but it's now whatever silicon based, let's just call it that carbon based, silicon based. If that's the only distinction, then that's that's just plain racist, isn't it? Hmm. It's, it's a tricky one. I just I just don't know. Yeah, but I'm thinking at one point, and it's not about um, so much. Maybe it's not so much about writing a program that is, uh, you know, that that appears to be sentient. I mean something like recreate the human brain in a computer, so much so that we can download Nate's brain and make an, an actual clone of Nate, like a copy of Nate that doesn't live in Nate's body anymore lives you know on a hard drive somewhere but but you know it's still Nate and it, it still thinks it's Nate cracks the same weird jokes and wants to build the 50 monitor setups and all that that sort of thing <laughs> yeah that's that's probably not <laughs> impossible brew <laughs> yeah I suppose that's not quite in the next couple of years is it Soma I've heard of that what's what is Soma I think I've heard of that. Oh, biscuits. I'm not allowed to have biscuits. More food. Dang, I'm not allowed to have food. All I can have is black coffee. Oh. Oh, really? Soma is the conversation. I, I don't know what that means. So I'm certainly not a program, otherwise I could compute this. <laughs> Soma. Sounds like a convention. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can do another puzzle. Is this the next one? Teleport to next level, yes. Which we're technically already in, aren't we? Yes, I think we must be. I will go to the bathroom. You think about this. And I'll be right back.
Mr. Seb Titum, how's it going, buddy? Good to see you, good to see you. I'm just catching up on the chat. A lot has happened since I was gone. A game where a scientist's brain was used to create a new world. Hmm. Really? I don't recall that. I've played that. <laughs> How exciting! <laughs> what was the game? That wasn't super liminal, was it? That was a that was this game where you're in this um, sort of deep-ish sleep. You're in this um, the the advertising product where you're where the player is in some kind of a hyper sleep. And that helps them, I don't know, solve problems or something. That was also a good game. A lot of, lot of difficult puzzles that, that are a little bit like this, but less cohesive. <laughs> the woman rode horses and fought war machines. I don't recall that at all. Woman rode horses and fought war machines. Pretty sure I didn't play that. <laughs> or I did and I've... It's been it's been erased from memory, deallocated, as they say. <laughs> Horizon, oh that! A woman rode horses and fought war machines. Man, of course. <laughs> I de I never made that connection. <laughs> yes, I've played that. <laughs> I never played the 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 what's it called the expansion of the Forbidden West, the one that you can only get on the PS5, or back then you could only get it on the PS5. Forbidden, what's it? Burning, burning shores. That's it. <laughs> that's the one. So we can definitely return to that at one point. So flicky switch goes on, makes teleporter work, but of course Jay can't step on it because it needs to be the other way around. Ah, oh, and it's already showing us the next level. This is, I, I swear to you, man. This is all in the same. This is all in the same level. I bet. That's why we can look at it with a live camera. This is how these portals are created. It's essentially a camera that's looking at a different part of the level. And you see these, you know, left and right expansions because the camera sort of moves with, with my player camera. They're linked, that's why we can do that. That is how that's done, I think. I think, I think, I think. Hello, cat, how's it going? They were all so creative. Uh, weren't they just filament wire? Oh, filament. We're getting like you, between you, me, and the goalpost. We're getting an upgrade, an update to the filament in Das Studio. I think a tune shader is in the works, and also more uh, shader nodes, so that we can, I think, create custom shaders for filament at one point. That is in the work, so it's not quite anything um, that's ready for release yet, but I think they're working on that. I'm looking forward to that because I like filament a lot in Das Studio. It's just not fully supported yet, and it's not 100% compatible with existing iris shader, so yes. What do you call a melon that commits a crime? I don't know. Answers on a postcard. A melon that commits a crime. Still looking for mahjong tiles here. Oh, that's not a coincidence that we can see this through here, is it? The teleporter. A water felon! Yes, of course! Ba boom boom A water felon. Could it be as easy as take a picture? Oh, you know what's going to happen? That's why we need to do that. If I do this, the teleporter is going to not work. Negative! Huh? New camera filter unlocked. You can now swap between photos and the camera using... Oh yeah, I remember that. I bet if we do that... This isn't going to work. The moment I place it, this teleporter is going to be unpowered. Yeah, I knew it! I knew it! So what we're going to have to do... What was it? Let's go back to here. Take a picture of the whole thing from back here. 
maybe. I mean, I don't know, maybe. Maybe, yes, yes. And then we put that like that here. Yes! Ha ha! Very good. I still feel like there's a mahjong tile we haven't picked up. Yes, and this tells you that. Do not put the picture because then it goes... It's, you know, all universe stops working and all. This never gets old. So you can stand on the side, huh? And now we have rain. How exciting. Exactly, it's sort of a side mission. Now this is tricky because if we wanted to do the same thing we'd have to go and take a picture of this and then turn it so maybe that was points down so we go and and jump down that's possible yes first it was rubber duckies then it was fridge magnets and now it's mahjong tiles <laughs> see if we find any this is one, right? Yes! Yes! Mahjong! Lever system works well. Hope the camera doesn't break. Yeah, me too! No wonder Haraya was angry. Miran... Miran's onto something. I know it. Oh. But she's not the greatest person when dealing with others. Where's the oh. cat? Maybe the two of them could bond over a cat pet session or something. Eat the cat out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you do it any time. Sure. I wonder if you do it a thousand times to get an achievement. You go mobile, no worries, no worries. Well, I suppose the first problem is that we'd need to take the picture of the... of the... Oh, I could do this, I suppose. I can't do that because it's not wide enough, right, to get the teleporter and this thing in. Unless I do it in two halves, could I do that? Take a picture of that and this and then place them so that the connection is made? That would be hilarious. <laughs> Maybe we have to do that. Another option is to do this. That would put both of these things in. We're going to have to do this in our game. <laughs> well, how about that? And then we just walk <laughs> walk on there. Look at the rainfall. The rain just fell like this and it just changed at the last minute. The rain actually comes from the top, but the puddle effects are happening <laughs> on the wall. Yes. I like <laughs> is it working? It's working! Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Four card from Jesse! Yeah, I've been playing this game for like eight hours and I found a mistake and I want a refund. <laughs> I love these reviews when the reviewer gives negative feedback. And then you see, I've played this game for a thousand hours, and I really didn't like it. <laughs> you really? That's... <laughs> how did you do it? <sighs> you big Jesse! Okay, I'm not listening. La, 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 la. Okay, so, looking into this setup, there's clearly something wrong with the system. The deeper you go, the more the data are corrupt due to lack of upkeep. Right. Meaning you might have to find your own exit if that's the case. I think our goals stay the same. Find the specs for the weather disruptor, get out, save the climate. All that good stuff. I'll reach out again when I can. Hope you're messing with reality in some cool ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I 
I have noticed over time that in the later sections of the simulation, the degradation has gotten progressively worse. But isn't that true for all things that once lived? Despite that, it's still wondrous. I hope you'll feel that way too. Bit rot is real, I tell you. Bit rot. It's not good. That's how it happened, huh? <laughs> yes, I left the country for nine months. And this, the second I went on the plane, my computer just switched itself on. And so it, uh, it downloaded and bought the program without my consent, played it by itself. And now I'm stuck with the bill. Can I have a refund, please? That is so cute. Yes, three pictures in the camera. This is going to be... This is going to be tricky. Because we're not going to be able to take a picture of this whole thing. I think we may have to do now what I just suggested. Take two parts of this, maybe? Also, what's upstairs? Three pictures, three parts. Can you imagine? That might be... That might be cleverer. -er -er. One. Let's try that. Three. Two. <laughs> Fill with cat pictures. Yes. And three. And then we're just going to go and... <coughs> put that guy over here ish i'm thinking <laughs> and then the the spring look at that it just disconnected that is too cute then we go and put this maybe will it let us do that like so you know doesn't it work but well, then maybe it comes back the moment I go and put this in. Possibly. Or I need to just make sure... You no. Know. I suppose I just need to make sure the, the green bits are not featured twice. So like, like this here. No! Dang! That is not the solution. Or maybe it is, and I just need to flick the switch. You no, know, because the middle part's still broken. Or get rid of the middle bit. More <laughs> cleverer, yes. <laughs> Flash blind the cat with all the photos. That's a good idea. <laughs> Extra cleverings. Notice one interesting... Uh, bit in what Jesse just said the da the data are corrupted it's true data could be singular or plural or it's one of those things that's always plural like police the police are on the case it's technically not the police is on the case because they are always plural Can we not just do this, maybe? Oh, no! We can't! But why? I don't understand, because it's not... Yeah, that's that makes sense. That really isn't connected, is it? <laughs> uh, let's try this again, then. So... Is it... that we have to just do... the, the, the this? Does it have to be like mega accurate? Dang! I don't know how to do this three dimensionally. <laughs> the Pollock singular, please. That's it, yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dimensionally, yes. Did I do I need to retake the pictures? Is there something I did with the pictures that didn't didn't go quite right? Do I need to have a look upstairs? Is there any funky stuff upstairs that we need to have a have a wee look at? I mean even if I even if I could, which I, I can't, I mean <laughs> Dimensionally more cleverer. <sighs> Come on, you can do it, you can just chance us. The angle is too steep, I can't. It doesn't work. Nearly, oh, I've got one more left. One more left, one more left. Maybe, maybe I can do it. Make it flatter, like here. No, that doesn't work either. Uh, okay. Any suggestions? I'm gonna go and start again from scratch here. Hmm. Maybe I can take the pictures from the other side. Does that give me more... more... I don't know, more? Moreness? Possibly. Technically I don't really need three, do I? I'm thinking, and as long as this thing is connected, maybe it's all good. Maybe two will be enough. Well, then why did they give us... Do I now need to go over to this side? Maybe. I mean, I don't know, but maybe. Possibly, maybe. Do I need to line it up like extremely accurately whatnot like this? I need to totally do that, don't I? And only then might it work. In which case I wonder if I do need to take three pictures. So I think we need to do the, the middle as well. Let's see. Let's see if we can do that. Might be, Leo, that's possible. That might be. I just thought that perhaps the part of this this whole thing is we take the picture from this side, but then we put it in from the other side so that we can accurately line this stuff up and just put it into the context. So if I start with the middle one and literally replace this exact thing here, sort of, somehow, ish, like like that, Well, that doesn't even make sense, does it? I need to do. I need to do this. But does it? Does it? Does it even? Does it? Does it? It's like like that. Does does it make any difference? I don't know. I'm confused. Oh, here. Yeah, this is one thing I didn't do. I should have. When I did this. There's this thing that you can press D-pad up so that it aligns it. So I suppose that's a good, good start. Also, I shouldn't have done that. I should have, <laughs> should have really turned it around like this and then align it like so. Then stuck. Check the pause menu for hint. Ooh, that's good that we can do that. Tell me, Nate. What am I waiting for? Like if I go and. Try to try to really line this up like properly, dimensionally correctly and stuff. Build a bridge with two photos going to one side. Leave it to the teleporter. Take the third photo lengthwise, capturing both teleporter and the lever. That is clever. We will try that next. I think that might be the way to go. Nate, that might well be the way to go, and then we don't have this this problem here. Because I think no matter how hard I try, I'm always going to be off by some margin. I was much closer, but this maybe this is actually the the way to get multiple solutions of of this. Let's do that. 
Let's do that. We're just going to let's go take a picture of this. In fact, um, in fact, twice would have been good, right? Maybe, maybe it's going to work. Maybe it's going to work. Like this one. Whee! <laughs> and there. Ah! Dang! There's ceiling in the way. Aside from the ceiling, would we... Would this work? I think the ceiling needs to go. See if I can get rid of ceiling here. And that'll also get rid of the lever. Dang! <laughs> this might work. Possibly. Let's see if this is enough. Hiya! Flick switch. Nate wins the prize! <laughs> Woohoo! Mr. Jeremy! What a fiendishly cleverly dastardly puzzle this was. Very good, Nate. Well thought. Well thought of. Mr. Jeremy, how's it going? Top of the afternoon to you, sir. Top of the evening, even. I'm assuming you're still in the UK. Are you still in the UK? We haven't chatted in a while. Good to see you on this spontaneous Sunday early afternoon. And welcome to Viewfinder, the thing that messes with your mind. Challenges things about 2D and 3D spaces and stuff. You'd think this is easy, right? You just take a picture, turn this around, but no. The moment you do that, you snip the line and... Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> Good thing we have the rewind button. Yeah. Um, hmm. What do we make of this? Because we only have one picture, unless there's a pack of film down here. And a mahjong tile. Check her eyes numbers. Growth anomaly. Mahjong tiles. Let's sit down and enjoy the scenery. What's left of it? Aha! There's a picture here that... Whoops. There's a picture here we should have a look at. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. <laughs> so that picture down at the, whoops, here, for example, right? That'll be good. Now we take a picture of the whole thing. That would include the lever and the teleporter. <laughs> and this, oh, there's even floor that we can land on. Oh, just go and put that and we go and land. Oh no, dang, I need to press the lever. It sort of is, yes, absolutely. It is. It seems to be fairly related to um, to Portal, or it certainly has Portal as an inspiration. It's just cleverer. Whereas with Portal, you could go from one location to another. Here, you basically snap a picture and you interact with that location that you're creating. But it, what used to be a 2D picture all of a sudden turns into 3D geometry and you can interact with it. It's absolutely crazy. So uh, I'm, I'm a total fan. Whoops. I nearly fell off again. How they've made that, I have no idea. I do like the rewind mechanic. So I think this was technically not a bad call, right? It's just that I think as I do this, I need to sort of pull the lever as I'm as I'm falling or something. Yes! 
Yes! I pulled the lever as I was falling, and that was the solution to the puzzle. Fall down, look up, take a photo, place photo below you. Well, exactly, and then you just do it as you fall. But this boring way certainly has worked, so... <laughs> I pray that you've been enjoying your explorations thus far. You've prayed correctly. We have been. All of us have. We've got about 24 minutes, so that is that is definitely time for another couple of exciting puzzles. Ooh! Now, which of these are our mahjong tiles? They're probably these ones here. Four out of five out of seven? We need to find more. <laughs> Pet the cat, yes. We've, I've been petting the cat all along. It's, it's nice. It's nice to be able to pet a cat. Remember that we've done this? Don't tell me we're done with this level. That would be crazy. Oh, biscuits. Oh, I can't have biscuits. Dang. It's got to be another special, super special, mind-blowing challenge. Many stored here. Many impossible things. It acts as a record of sorts. Much like a photo. <laughs> Trapped the in a moment. Are you sure the cat hasn't been petted in the last five minutes? Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm making up for it now. Oop, this was the wrong way. There we go. <laughs> Biscuits are making me hungry too. But there we go. I'm, now I'm back in the, in the middle of the circle-ish. Biscuits or biscuits? Hmm. Yeah, biscuits 3D or biscuits 2D. <laughs> This, this, this is teleport to next level. That's the one. <laughs> Bees kits. Now this teleporter looks a little, looks a wee bit different than the previous one. Ah, oh, I haven't seen that mechanic before. So we step on here. That enables the teleporter. But of course, that doesn't teleport us. We need to be on the other side to... Oh, maybe that was... Oh. The old timer ploy. Step on here, find a fast way around it, which obviously isn't, you know, like this, because I don't think we can run. And then reach the teleporter just in time for it to be not bad anymore. I get you, I get you. Well, I... the, um... Do we... Huh. I suppose our challenge is to get rid of some of these walls, so even just a hole in here would do the trick. Then we could just... that's probably going to be enough. So if we take a picture of uh, whatever mountains here... I should have changed the the filter there. What happens if I just do this? Or like, you know, do it here? Yeah, that should work. That should work! Oh, there's no mahjong tile here, is there? Just checking. Electricity meter! I'm gonna have to pay all this! Terrible! Mahjong tile? Hiraya's perfected bio car. What to do with this? Bio car, bio char? We don't we don't even know what it is. Hiraya's final observations. Mmm. <laughs> break exactly. Photo of sky, break wall, all good. Your meditation nook. If by meditation you mean build the body of everyone's dreams. <gasps> Mahjong tile! Haha, -ha, five of seven, there we go. Okay, we, I think we've got it, I think we've got it. We do have two photos left, which is kind of, kind of nice. Is modeling miniatures a good use of your time? Ha! That was a swift one, wasn't it? Swift Pretty indeed. Pumping. Well, if you have one, of course. <laughs> Now that could be another definition of 
sentient being. Do you have a heart? Like a biological one. And what, what about people with an artificial heart? They're still biological. They just don't have a pumping heart anymore. Ah, it doesn't work either, does it? Dang. Simple but elegant. Uh, yeah. Maybe? Pull lever. Yes. Oh. Is it the same here? We unpull the lever or we, we make some kind of yes as we disrupt the connection and then the yes, 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 yes. I get you, I get you. So we keep the lever pulled here. Take a single picture of this. And as long as this timing device is in there. Yes! Aha! <laughs> That's with a fake heart. No longer real. Sorry, buddy. You would have been classed as a human before you had that transplant, but now you're technically alive and not a human anymore. Now you no longer have the rights that humans have, and you're now grouped into the same category as Amazon Alexa and Siri. It means you have no rights! <laughs> That would be a, that would be a funny story, actually. If I said Neurobsol, new 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 era Neurobsol, which game am I thinking of? Hmm. I'm trying to read it backwards, and it still doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't know what game might you be thinking of. Notice the particle effects are only where the foliage is. Not next to the foliage. Just just here. That is kind of cool, isn't it? It's like a cutout or a mask or something. Now this here, I'm thinking we're probably going to take a picture of the whole nine yards. No, we're not, are we? Hmm. How are we going to do that? We would have to take a picture, put it the other way around, quickly step on that thing, take another picture, put that the other way around, and then step on the teleporter. Right? Indiana Jones, oh. I would have never thought about that in a million years, Art. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Does sound logical, doesn't it? Okay, it all starts with a simple picture. And they've given us exactly two pictures, so that could well be the solution. Cat, isn't that right? Must pet you every two minutes, otherwise I lose. Pick up blueprint. Ooh, pick up more blueprints. Oh my, blueprints? What are we gonna do with that? Prototype schematics for A. Leong, Dustin. Prototype for 2.3? This is the 2.3 version. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. What are we gonna do with that? <laughs> just pet you again, just in case I, you know. So can we can we make it? Can we just put that here and then? What a, what a cursed creature! <clears throat> Duh. <laughs> Makes me want to chase it a bit. Yes! <laughs> Make three dustins! And then, I wonder, does this not... Uh, can this help us with anything? Loving the perspective here, very good. <laughs> Autovac V2.3. <laughs> Dustin is so depressed. Poor Dustin! <laughs> the fried egg on top. Oh, 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 audio message from the past on gramophone thing. Is there any reason you're so reluctant to have good designs? Whoa, sarcastic much. I enjoy good designs. Efficiency over beauty, huh? There is beauty in efficiency. 
You just have to understand it. Ah, <laughs> yeah. What a lovely way to phrase that. Very wise, Tzu Long. It looks like I'm, I've been getting some, <laughs> some achievements here. I don't know which ones. But hey. <laughs> oh, I can pick up the Dustins as well. That's, that's nice. I can pick up most of the Dustins. What is going on? Notice how the how the texture No don't do that. Don't 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 roll over the edge. The texture, the stripes, no matter which direction Dustin rolls into, it stays the same. So this is done with a post-process effect then. Very cool. The Dustin army! Okay, let's try this then. We go and turn this thing around to sort of like that. We go on this. Then I have to go back, take a picture again, turn it around and jump on the thing. Because I don't think... That's not all going to fit. Oh, I don't have to fit it all in, so I can do this. And then take a picture of that. That'll be enough. Ha! <laughs> All I can do is push dust around. That is my purpose in life. My creator emblazoned it in my name. I must seek the edge of the world and fly. I must prove to him it is my destiny. Very good, Leo. Fantastic. That is so cool. We've picked the, the, the most amazing game to play, I have to say. We're having too much fun with this. This is very cool. Special... Jutu and Liu Sheng's collection copies inside. Stack last. Got gotcha. you. How many developers were working in this field? I'm just glad Jessie isn't here anymore. She's still monitoring. Ooh, that looks nice. Dang, I can't have it. It's virtual snacks. Meant to be thinking out loud here. I got no thoughts. Time is finite. We mess with all the, all the time in our workspaces. Thing is, we can't fool ourselves much longer. The time that runs out, we won't get back. We have one picture here. One picture. Yeah. Your speed is impressive. Virtually no calories. You're so right, Jeremy. <laughs> the future sucks. I'm always hungry. There's food everywhere, but it's not real and I can't eat it anyway. <laughs> Too funny. That's so correct. Isn't it? Isn't that right, cat? So cute. It's got virtual whiskers as well, drawn on ears. Very nice mannerisms, I have to say. We must make this cat as a 3D product. And we call it... Stripey Transparent Cat. Or something. Where's the photocopier, by the way? We haven't seen that... Oh, cat again. We haven't seen the photocopier in a while. <gasps> Greetings from Stonehenge! Let's go already! <laughs> this is gonna be great! Well, that sounds like, you know, we do that, take a picture of that. We've got five pictures to pick, take a picture of that and then quickly go and do this and fly off. Right. I'm thinking that looks like could be the thing to do. But first, let's visit Stonehenge. Who doesn't want to go? Wiltshire, England. Hilarious. 
<laughs> that has got to be. That's just so fantastic. I've always wondered about your world outside. <laughs> I must know. Does it still look like this? Yeah, I think so. Except Stone Age has a massive motorway sort of in the background, and uh, and I think you can't touch the stones because people kept vandalizing it, so they put a fence around it. So it's it's almost like that. <laughs> But the foliage looks exactly like it. Beautiful Wiltshire countryside. We're about half an hour, hour's foot walk away from Sting's mansion called Lake House in a little village called Lake. Very cool. E cat, yes, that's it, exactly. <laughs> Mahjong tablet on the pillars, let's have a look. We wouldn't want to leave without it. On the pillars. On the pillars. Did you see it somewhere? Reminder that the work you're doing here will save humanity from itself. I'm aware. Does that include us? On the you mean on top here, you mean? That would be just something they would do, wouldn't they? Oh, if it was in Stone Age, that's a good idea. Do you know that could well be? Because I think we found a piece like that in one of these already. Then Yes, there it is. On top of here. You have good eyes. You found it. So that's a bit of Stone Age platforming. That's fantastic. Leo, thank you so much for the tip. That is... <laughs> That is too cool. Well done. That's crazy. Well done. I did not see that. Wow. How exciting. Thank you, Bot, about the reminder of, for the official WP Guru Muck that you, you can get yourself a copy of. Uh, currently no virtual copies available, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Leo for president, yes. I think Dartenbeck recently bought one with a mouse on it. I'm working on some more merch because they sort of make it possible, uh, fairly easy, but when it gets to the last stage, the, the, the interface doesn't work on Firefox. I have to do it on a different web browser. It will come, like WP Guru stickers that you've all been waiting for, and t shirts and stuff, and WP Guru Ferraris and all that. So it's, all, it's all coming, I, I promise, it's all coming. Isn't that nice? No human sacrifices required. So I'm intrigued by the fact that I have, in fact, five photos left. And I'm thinking... This is sort of enough already. Whoops. Uh, I've been thinking about what I'd overheard. Oh, yes. What you overheard? Cat? What have you overheard? Don't leave me hanging, man. I think I might pick a different filter if I can. I think that was in here. We know that wasn't in here. That was, uh, where was that? We had some kind of a workshop thing and I believe I've unlocked a new filter somehow. Was that not here? That may have been... Does this machine you're looking for really provide all the answers? I, so, I don't know, I just got here. I wish that for all our troubles. One simple solution, and our worry is gone. Ooh. Mm. I thought that would sound happy, but it just sounds... Never mind. Too good to be true, is that what you're saying? So the backstory of this game, basically real humans have had a massive issue with um, things like, you know, atmosphere and all that evaporating not not being there anymore and stuff and so they went into a simulation to see if they can bring back trees because they were no longer available on the outside world I said my I piece. Think. looking back these last few sessions have been the most difficult <laughs> and the most fun I've had since I can remember every corner of this place is an expression of some dream one of us had that's that's gonna be something right like a stored piece of memory <laughs> just like Miran's photographs 
Yes, there was, Leo, and that is exactly where we do that thing. Color shift, this is the current filter, so I suppose this is when we take a picture, what does the picture come out as? Cold, negative, that's the new filter, and warm. Do we wanna, which filter do we like? I think negative would just freak me out. Warm could be interesting. It's like the, the Polaroid thing. Our AI overlords banned going to the lavatory. <laughs> negative. Negative. Color shift, this is sort of my personal favorite. Grayscale, yeah, no. Cold, man, that's cold, brother. <laughs> Maybe we need to unlock that next. Let's go with warm. And do one more puzzle and then I'm gonna have to go. Sadly. <laughs> the apocalypse now filter, yes, that's right. Second, this is a fascinating game, isn't it? I can't wait to keep playing. So next Saturday I won't be here because I'm doing a Das Plus stream for which you are more than welcome to join me, of course, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the DAS channel on a yet-to-be-determined secretive URL. Totally join me for that if you're a DAS Plus subscriber. But on Sunday I might be around to do more of this. Right, cat? <laughs> Let's have a quick look at this level and then we'll, we'll see what happens here. Oh my goodness, nighttime! Is coming this is with the lanterns on and stuff. Very cool. So if my theory is correct, and this is all in the same level, then each of these spheres, I mean, there's a level and then there's a level. There's like a project level, I think, in which all these puzzle levels reside. And each puzzle level would then have its own lighting inside the sphere. So, hmm. Smooth jazz has been deployed. It's getting scary now, I can tell, I can tell. This is the scary realm that I'll soon be joining with my 24 massive tablets that I should be taking in a couple of minutes, actually. <laughs> I might delay it by, you know, whenever we get through this level here. Because I, I, I don't think it's, it's, you know, I think I have a bit of a leeway. <laughs> Somebody's were oh, look at that, notebook. Five-step plan for saving Mirren's project. Step one, trash bad schematics. Out of sight, out of mind. Repurpose biofiltration data for Mirren's original architecture idea. Step three, invite Mirren over for Mahjong. Uh, step four, commence inevitable fight over Mahjong. Make her see reason. Step four, talk about how much fun we had building the teleporters. And remind her that failure is part of the journey to success keep her from committing suicide, hit the road and get out of dodge, brainstorm new good schematics. I like it. So far, I don't want to work with Mirren. Oh, oh we can go through here. <laughs> yeah, they are sort of horse pills. I don't know why they gave me that. I mean, they did give me a... Whoops. Hello there. How's it going, staircase? Ooh, now that is a cool idea. It's not a staircase at all. You gotta gotta look at it with the right angle. I don't have my camera anymore, otherwise I would take a picture of this. Do we have to platform up there? This is crazy! I don't feel so good. <laughs> it's the wobbly stairs. Let's see if we can just platform up here. Does that, does that work? No, of course it doesn't. <laughs> Interesting. Usually when something like this happens, you just have to look at it from a particular angle and then it just goes and snaps right. I don't even know how, would, how they would do that. I know, they, I, I know how they do that. This sort of effect you see this similar thing if you have on a you see this used in my holding loop in the city sample project 
the houses you see or the, the rooms that you see behind the windows, they're not actual 3D geometry. They are a HDRI sort of spherical image behind there. So that means if somebody looks at it up close and moves left and right, there is a parallax effect in there. But the thing itself is actually HDRI. I wonder, or like a spherical image rather, I wonder if they've used this here. But if they have, where does it begin? <laughs> where is it? it could just be a, a shader mapped onto this object. This guy is a genius. I love this game. It surprises you with the simple things and you go, this is the real puzzle. How did you make that? How did you come up with that? That's right. It's like looking at the inside of a 3D sphere with some pattern on That's exact. That's exactly right. I could have sworn we... We, uh... Didn't we... <laughs> it's drawn on! Something's gone very wrong here. Ah! I could have sworn there was a staircase here. Totally wasn't. It was a trap, I tell you. A trap. Now the real level begins. <laughs> oh, Wiley. Or John Malkovich. <laughs> Cat, get me out of here. Mahjong tiles. And we don't have a camera. Hang on a minute, that is... That is very clever. It's a bit clever, isn't it? It is a bit so clever. He's always fond of games. A good puzzle to keep himself busy. OMG! No I'm afraid to step anywhere. Uh, um, I thought we came together to compare notes. I don't have anything new to share. Are you sure? Mm. There's always something new to explore here. Nothing of value yet, but soon. That was a nice idea, Aaron. Relaxing even. Thank you. Uh, but don't you think it's time we got back to work? Work. Work sets you free, man. Work sets you free. Depends on the work, though. I'm so glad we did this. Um, it's a shame Brian wasn't here. He would have totally enjoyed these geometric issues <laughs> that we've been having. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to go, but we will certainly keep this going. Perhaps next Sunday. Can't make a promise yet, but, you know, I will, I will try. I will try. I'm not going to play this without you. I promise that as well. And I will hopefully see you anon. Next Saturday, Das Plus Stream, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tomorrow, Julia's and my wedding anniversary, plus colonoscopy for me, which is going to be exciting. Have a wonderful rest of Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I, will, I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.